Hey friends, this is amazing. Look at this. This is a local ChatGPT clone, which we can use on our local hardware, so completely private and for free. And this only requires one line of code. And I'm gonna show you how. But for that, what you need to do is you need to uh, go to the open web UI, um, well, website, and you need to install it with Python. So you need to have Python installed. But after that, you just install it like this, pip install open web UI. And then you can use this by simply running one line of code, as I promised, which is open web UI serve. So you need to run this and make sure that you use Python at least of version 3.11. That's a requirement. But that's it, basically. And then it runs on your local host on port 8080. And this is what it looks like. The first time you start, you also have to sign in, actually, with an email account and a password. But of course, you can use any kind of email address. You don't need to have original or uh, yeah, a genuine one. Uh, but then you can see this interface here. And this is basically all available to us. So what we can do is we can start a different kind of chats up here. So I can start a new chat by simply clicking here. I can have a look at my workspace. I can search. Here are previous chats I had. These are in German, but uh, of course, you know what, how it looks like in the OpenAI interface on the web. And you can also select a model up here. So same way as for OpenAI, but here's the catch or what the catch, the difference um, to be specific. Here we select open source models. And in this case, I have three models installed. So these are the ones I have downloaded. That's why I can see them here. But of course, if you download additional ones, then you would see all those models you have downloaded here. And for instance, I can use the new Llama Peter 2 latest um, 3 billion uh, parameter model. I can select it and now I can get started. And I can also choose here one of these previous uh, or already available um, options or I can run my own message down there. So for instance, I can ask, what is the capital of France? Right, France like this. And then I can uh, send this message and uh, it just loads the model and then I get my response. So it shouldn't take too long at the beginning and you can see here's the result. Right. So it's really, really fast. And uh, not only can I simply ask a question down here, so type in, but we also have the audio availability here. So for instance, I can ask my question here. So record voice. Let's do that. What is the capital of Germany? And there you can see it's converted in the, the my audio text is converted into voice. Uh, oh, sorry, the voice is converted into text. That's why I'm in. And you can see that here I get the results and I can also send this if I want, right? So I can also use audio, send it, and then just wait and I get my result in here. So you can see it's blazing fast. I mean, of course, this is an easy question with only needs a few words to answer, but you can see that it really is fast. So open source models became much, much better and much, much faster than the past, especially the new Llama 3.2 version, um, this 3 billion model, and I can use this here in this great interface, as I said, with only one line of code. So uh, beside this, uh, no, we are not done yet. It gets even better. We can also use voice and chat with the language model in here. The only problem so far uh, currently is that uh, because it's completely for free, it leverages, um, let's say, the Windows um, speech or voices. That's why um, it doesn't uh, sound as good as, for instance, um, uh, the models which are uh, available for 11 labs, for instance, which you have to pay for, of course, if you want to use their API. But of course, you can extend this if you want. But currently, this is only using the Windows voice, but I still want to show you uh, how it works. So you just go in here, call and say, what is the capital of Italy? The capital of Italy is Rome. You see, um, currently, let me just uh, close this for now. It works perfectly. Currently, my uh, language setting is uh, in German. That's why if I ask my question in English, it sounds kind of, well, a little bit strange. Uh, but if you have uh, your Windows settings on English, English language, French, it would sound a little bit better. But still, you completely recognize that it is uh, the Windows um, voices, right? Which you probably already know. Um, but as I said, you can extend this, of course, as well. Currently, this is how it works, but uh, it's mind-blowing, at least to me, because this complete interface, as it is now, is completely for free, and we can get it with only one line of code. So there's no need for us to do any kind of, um, well, transcribing um, audio into text first and send it to an OpenAI API endpoint, for instance, or we also, we could use the new um, OpenAI uh, model, and there is an audio uh, model now, but the problem is still this, this is not private, and we have to pay for it. So this, on the other hand, is completely free, and you do not need to uh, be a coder, you do not need to write any line of code beside this little one line, which is to serve, basically, uh, the model on your local host, and you, of course you need to download um, the open source models in order to use them. But that's basically it. And, well, as I said, I find it amazing, and hopefully you do. So if so, please give this video a like, also subscribe to the channel, and let me know your thoughts. Thanks a lot, take care, and see you in the next video.